everybody. I hope everyone is well. I am actually feeling pretty good. Still doing my exercise regimen of walking and taking supplements and completely off of my anxiety medication. Yes, taking my supplements as I talked about in my previous video. If you are interested in knowing about what supplements I take, make sure you go back and check that out. Today, we're going to be talking about the other things that I have been doing pretty much most of my adult life to help myself with OCD and anxiety issues. And I'm going to be telling you some things that you probably already know, but it's so important to reiterate these things because I forget to do them sometimes. And I know you forget to do them sometimes. But if you can do all of these things together, you can have such a balanced mental state. I know because I have done it before and I felt so good. And so I'm trying to get back to incorporating all of these tips I'm going to tell you about in my life. And I think you should make sure that you take a listen and you try to do the same because it could help you greatly with your OCD and anxiety and all other mental health issues that you might have. So my first tip, get off the couch. Yes, exercise. Now, I know you've heard this many times. I know you've heard many people say it. It is so true. Exercise is so important for mental wellness, mental balance, life balance, health, wealth in your uh, healthy lifestyle living everything it's just so good but i'm gonna tell you it is so significantly good for ocd and anxiety because the more that you exercise the better you feel and the less those intrusive thoughts and those horrible feelings that go along with them will affect you i know because there was a time when i was exercising so much that nothing really bothered me so I used to salsa dance and I still do, not as much as I used to, but I've been salsa dancing for years. I started taking lessons uh, as a hobby and I started to dance really well. And I was going out dancing probably about four or five times a week. Yes, I was tearing the floor down, okay? And I felt so good during that time because I was getting regular exercise. Not only that, but I was doing something that I really liked to do. And my compulsions were less. My negative thoughts were less. My feelings of anxiety and fear were less. So I'm going to tell you, if you are sitting on the couch hoping that you're going to feel better, you better get up, walk run something anything go to the gym get on the treadmill um i've been walking lately i've been walking miles eh, maybe every day or every other day something to get yourself moving and get your body uh well so that you can support your brain yes absolutely so that is the first tip and that is a no-brainer because you hear that everywhere how about put down the fried chicken, okay? That's my next tip. If you're eating poorly and expecting to feel better when you have mental health issues, especially anxiety and OCD, good luck. Because I'm going to tell you, diet is so important. Whenever I eat well, I feel great. Whenever I eat crappy, I feel crappy. And that's a no-brainer too. You've heard it a million times. We don't do it. I'm not just saying you, because I have struggled with this also. You know, the fried chicken and all that great food tastes so good. But when you are having those compulsions and you know you're having those feelings of horrible fear and anxiety, you need to support your body. Your body needs to be well and healthy so it can deal with those things properly. And when you eat properly, you help your body in conjunction with exercise to really, really be well. So I'm going to, going to tell you, if you are not eating well, please incorporate some, some very good eating habits into your life. 
I have been off of sugar for probably about, mm, I don't want to say maybe 15 years now. I don't have candy bars. I don't have cookies. I don't have soda. And I know that's extreme. So you may not be able to do that, but that has helped me greatly. I know with my mental health and OCD issues and with as long uh, as well as my health. Um, also, I do not um, eat beef or pork. Now, that's just a personal thing. I just don't. Um, but it's going to be up to you what you decide that you want to cut out of your life. Soda is another no-no for me. I do not uh, drink soda or sugary drinks. Usually, all I usually have is lots of water and maybe some juice here and there. But I also know that that has helped me a lot in curbing some of the anxiety issues that I have suffered from all of my life. So eating better and having good exercise habits could greatly help you. Next tip, get a support system to lift yourself up. Absolutely. What am I mean by a support system? Family, friends, anybody that could help you through your hard times. Because you know, if you have anxiety and OCD or any other type of mental health issue, Family is so very important, okay? And friends are, is so, are so very important. Those people in your life that can support you through all of those things that you have to encounter when you have mental health issues. I have a really good support system of people, not a lot of people, just a few. But even one or two is better than nothing. And if you don't have access to people who understand, then maybe you should seek out a support group of people that can help you. You know, people who also have anxiety and OCD. And then you can talk to them or also exchange numbers and maybe have someone that can support you through your hard times. If you know your support people, you know, always try to stay in contact with them. Uh, try to, you know, keep a good relationship so that if you are feeling down or feeling bad, you can call them and, you know, it's so important to have this because this will help you through those times when you feel like, oh my God, you just can't do another day. I know. And don't let this persona fool you, okay? I have been solo, solo with anxiety and OCD. And I'm going to talk about that in another video, actually, some of my experiences. But I know what you're going through. And you definitely need to get some friends, family, or support people behind you. And my last tip, so important, talk to God. If you don't believe in God and you don't have a some type of spiritual foundation, this, this tip ain't for you. Because I'm going to tell you, that has helped me greatly to get through a lot of the things that I've been going through. I cannot imagine my life and my journey through mental health without God, without being in prayer, without having people praying for me. I just couldn't imagine it. And so if you don't have that in your life, seek it out. Try to find it. I mean, there's so many things you can do. And I'm going to make a video specifically about that and how to get a better spiritual connection, especially when you have mental health issues. It's so important and it will help you through some of the most darkest times of your struggles and your journey. So please, if you can incorporate these tips into your life, you will be so much better off, more mentally balanced, more focused on being well and happy than sad and withdrawn sitting at home, you know, sulking, feeling sorry for yourself. Get out there, do something, eat better, find your support system, talk to God. Come on, you can do it. We can all do it. I need to do more myself. So that's why I am trying to put this information out so that we can help each other. This is a journey that we are all on to be mentally well. So come on in every video and just be here comment subscribe like i will see you next time i forgot to mention a tip i did 
and I don't know how I could forget to mention this because this person, not a person, but this creature is one of the most important things for my wellness. And it's my dog. <laughs> oh my goodness, having a pet has really helped my anxiety and OCD. And I'm going to specifically talk about Mayala, my German Shepherd mix. She is just like the love of my life. And having her and being responsible for her has made me better, has made me um, step up to the plate and try to be well so that I can be there to make sure I take care of her. And that is going to be another video within itself. I'm going to introduce you to Mayala and tell you about all of the experiences and how I got her, when I got her, how she has helped me so much. Stay tuned for that. And this is goodbye for real this time. Have a good day. Bye, everybody.